Hi, hello, how are things? My name is Sierra Black. I'm going to be creating an apothecary for Celine Lopez, a character that came with the Sims 4 werewolf pack. This is part of my medieval Moonwood project that's coming along quite nicely. As I'm recording this voiceover, I just finished the exterior of the castle I'm building for the Moonwood Collective. This has been a great challenge. I'm no historian and all my other gameplay is set in the modern day, but this is how I saw Moonwood Mills. I kind of see it like a parallel realm similar to Harry Potter's Di Diagon Alley. So it's not completely in the past, but there's a separation of the world that is a little similar to the separation you see with Forgotten Hollow and Glimmerbrook. Speaking of Glimmerbrook, I made Celine into a spellcaster I think after her werewolf attack, she would be wanting to be able to protect herself and to protect others around her. And she is very much a good witch. I have her practice practical magic and I also have her in the doctor's career. I just get that caregiver protecting vibe from her. I never go with her to work so I don't have to see her in her medieval garb in the modern hospital that I have in my game. So when she's off to work, I just imagine that she's making house calls to a cult. So this house is pretty much a witch's apothecary plus an infirmary for where and other occults and it's a functioning bar as well as well as an inn so there's a lot going on it's become one of my favorite lots to play there's a couple of families living here there's a couple I based on Robin Hood and Maid Marian and they have three kids the couple was forced out of the woods by just bigger badder werewolves but Celine has taken them in the parents also have cured themselves of werewolfism Lycanthropy, I guess it would be called. Because um, they were werewolves, but they have now cured themselves. But they have three kids, and they don't know what they're going to do if their kids have the dominant werewolf gene and their kids want to keep it. And then there's also a vampire and her daughter. The way I see it is that the Moonwood Collective hates all vampires. I have it so that the Moonwood Collective is evil in my game and it's easy for vampires to be imprisoned for eternity for the slightest event because also the Moonwood Collective is like they're in charge and Christopher he's pretty much a king. Because Celine owns this business and she makes money she like can protect herself in that way with the taxes that she pays but also they're all kind of under the thumb of this ruler. So Celine basically has taken this family in and protects them. The vampire is also a scientist slash inventor and helps come up with potions. And the other family helps clean and run the bar. So everyone does their part. The bar is fully functional with Little Miss Sam's at home business mod. It works great. I haven't had any problems with it. Actually, I haven't played it since the new patch, so I'll have to do that and then get back with you on that. But when I did play it, it ran perfectly, and I was using the Cell Celebration mod by Ravishing at the same time to set the potions for Cell, and I was blown away by how well it worked. It was giving me Sims 2 home business, open for business vibes, which I'm all about. I think I'm going to make a video showing everything I did to make it run as realistically as possible, so stay tuned for that. Only thing I'm working on right now is trying to make the lot occult only while I'm using the open uh, bar mod, live in bar mod. I'm pretty sure the lot that Celine was on before where she was working as a bartender, I'm going to be turning that into a small medieval village, but that is an occult only lot. I'm sure there's a way to create the same feel for this lot. I have a mod by Miss Sam. Um, that maybe you can do that, but I haven't tested it yet, but I'm really hopeful. It is not a functioning inn. It could be for me. I don't really want a bunch of people staying here, but I wish there was an interaction or a moodlet where Sims had to pay Celine to stay for a couple of nights, and that's all I would want. And maybe I would even be able to mod that myself, we'll see. It took a long time to fully stock the apothecary to my liking. I wanted to do everything properly, just to have the satisfaction of when you hover over something it says made by Celine or someone in this household. So I did a lot of work just for that, just for that little hover box over the potions. So 
There's potions from Realm of Magic, and I have a mod that gives potions value so you can price them and sell them for a profit. There are a couple of mixology drinks like the Sunlight Reversal Cocktail, the Vampire Resistant Cocktail, um, the Cure for Vampires, of course, the Werewolf Cure. I also have a bottle of a Plant Simp Cure for sale, which is a mod that I have. I use the herbalism skill for outdoor retreat to make stuff like the tummy therapy. There's also the chemistry lab from Get to Work to make like the snake oil and the ox strength and other things. I use Icy Mud Mun's canning mod and there's like a jar of harp jam and plasma jam and some pickled eggs and I think that's everything. Um, oh and there's some pet treats. On the counter, I put together this cake stand and shrunk down ambrosia treats for pets. It makes it look like it makes it looks like they're floating in the cake stand and they sparkle. It's so it's all so satisfying to look at. I love when I have an idea and everything comes out better than I even planned for. Like, and I'm just like, damn, that really worked out for me. The kitchen for the shop is in the basement and. There's also where I put down all the hospital stuff by the hospital beds. I try to put scratches and tears on the walls so it looks like people have turned into werewolves and rampage in that area. I think Celine would respect everyone's choice on whether or not they wanted to take the cure or they wanted to go for it and live as a werewolf. She's just trying to mediate any harm or pain to the community because she's like, uh, you know, she's a queen like that. So there are hospital beds and a coffin for any vampires. Then in the second level of the basement, I have some great CC for medieval meshes of the doctor's equipment you get from Get to Work. The Sim can also use the treadmill to work out, which has been pretty cool. And on the second level of the basement, I put a bookcase door that was supposed to lead to a portal to Celine's apartment on the top floor, but Sims kept spawning into the basement. I don't know why. I have the basement set for household only by the doors. So random townies walking around Moodwood Mills would spawn directly into our basement and just get stuck in there, which would be a great idea for a magical dungeon, but Celine's literally the exact opposite of that so it had to go. On the third level I put the pet treat crafting station. I probably should have looked for a tool mod cover up on the gallery but it's fine that it's not completely medieval. Again my idea isn't that they're in the past it's just a separate it's just a separate magical realm. I also created a nursery for newborns. I don't know if I'll ever use it unless there's a mod created to give home births by a doctor. I don't know if there, maybe there is one, but I don't know. Um, but regardless, it came out very cute. I forgot to mention at the beginning that I used the landscaping from another lot on the gallery. I still have to find that, and when I do, I'll link it in the description. I started this build, and then my game froze, and I had to start over, and I couldn't be bothered to place the trees and flowers again. But I'll definitely give credit to um, the person who did this landscaping. Landscaping is not my thing and I was so happy I could just like jump start building without dealing with it. And I think that's all I really have to say about this build. For Moonwood Mills, next thing will be the Moonwood Collective Castle. And I'll have another Let's Play for this world coming out Friday. And I want to build a medieval um, town with like a bakery and a wood shop um, and a butcher. So, and I want all that stuff to be as functional as possible. And then my Moonwood world will be completely complete, which is freaking wild. I, this was a really fun project. I'm not done with it yet, so I probably shouldn't speak too soon. But yeah, my Castle of Wolves series will be out Friday. Um, like if you want, comment if you want, and subscribe if you're about that life. Peace.
Thank you.